Hi everyone. Today I'll be explaining you how to add the controls dynamically to pin forms. So this is same across all the Visual Studio platforms. So I'm just using a Visual Basic 2010 Express to explain you this. So usually what we do to add controls is we go to toolbox and uh, we just drag and drop any of the controls that we need but uh when we kind of have some restrictions and we have to add controls based on some particular event so i'll you i'll be explaining you how to do that so uh, let's say i'm creating a control dynamically on load event i'll go to the load event let's say we are just creating one single control and we are not creating multiple controls so i'll uh, first create a variable control let's say pim i'll say label one is new label so i have created a variable which is a new label okay so after creating a new label what i'll be doing is i'll just set all the properties that i need Currently, I'm just adding few of the properties as per my needs. After adding all the properties according to my need, what I'll be doing is I'll be adding this particular label to my existing form. First, I'll call my uh, control so it can be either form or any panel or anything so currently i'll just add one of the form uh, which is form one so as i am in the same form i'll use me dot controls dot so now you have the option to add it okay so i'll just add now it is asking you for a control as a value so which control we are adding which is label one so i'll type label one okay so if i run the program you can see here so now you can ask this is at a specific position which is zero comma zero how to change it so you can simply add one of the properties will dot location open your point so let's say i want to move it to 10 comma 10 okay so now if i can see the label has moved to 10 comma 10 okay so this is one of the simple methods so right now we have learned that how to add a control which is inbuilt in microsoft visual studio and it's just one control so how to kind of add multiple controls to it i'll explain you only the best option and not the inefficient option when we kind of call out multiple controls okay so we have to kind of create a uh, array of controls rather than kind of creating particular control so here when i am just uh, highlighting the control as a variable here you can see it's just one particular control right we have to change it to array of controls okay so i'll just remove it completely so now i'll be typing m labels and i'll open the brackets okay array brackets as label so i'm not adding new here okay that's the first criteria here. i don't have to create a new array okay but i have to create each and every label as a new label okay so you have to understand that now let's say i have to create five controls so i'll just add four why four because let's say i want to create five then i have to put the number five minus one which is four why because zero is also considered as a control okay so now what i'll be doing is i'll create uh, i'll use for each function or for function so if you see i'll use 
or i equal to zero to four okay again four because it's a final number or you can simply use one to five it's up to you for ease i'll say use zero to four so the first thing that you need to do is you have to hit the first label as a new label how you do it so labels i okay i am using i because it will specify the integer which particular label i am talking about. okay equal to new label simple now what i can do is i'll simplify it with use of with tables of i okay so i think basically i need these things so when i am adding multiple controls will it come on top of each other no right so what you have to do is you have to kind of create a couple of variables which is x and y okay i am using three as my initial variable you can use anything as per your needs okay so x is x axis and a y is y coordinate okay so now i am going to set the location as location equal to new point x comma y cool so after this what i'll be doing is i'll be changing the y coordinates and not x coordinates because what i need is all the labels to kind of place down and not kind of be in a tile format okay mm -hmm. So what I'll do is by plus equal to so it will add whatever value we are highlighting it. So I'll say tables dot i dot height plus three. So now what is this three? You might ask. Uh, between first label and second label, there must be a little bit gap. Okay that is what three is representing here okay so after creation of all these codes now i need to add all these controls to the form so uh, let's take it a step further i'll create a panel for you and i'll add this over that okay so this is my panel So I'll change the back color to let's say anything like black. Okay. So mm -hmm. now I'll add it to panel one. Dot controls. Okay. Dot. Now I'll use add range rather than add because it's an array. It will kind of add it much faster than what add will help you in. Okay. So I'll just set labels. Mm -hmm okay so if i debug it you can see all the five so this is when i need all the controls to be in a list format so what will happen if you need it in a tile format okay i'll add a if statement if x plus labels dot i dot plus three again the three is the distance between a couple of controls okay so plus three is less than so my control is panel one panel one dot width minus labels i dot width minus six y6 because you have to consider the initial three which i have used here okay if it satisfies that then we'll add it to x else we'll add it to y so again i'll show you this is the distance between two controls which is three okay so the new thing x equal to plus 
okay else here i won't change the y here i will change the y okay and i'll set the x back to 3 okay so if you see now so all the controls will be in the tile format boom cool now let me explain you how to add an event so you might want to kind of have a click event let's say when i click this particular label there must be some sort of event okay so what i'll do is i'll create a sub label click so center as object yes so what is for click event it is event arts okay we have created one of the click event sub okay so how to call that particular label i can't create a click event for each and everything separately so there are a couple of ways uh, you can say each one of the labels must have a different click event or you can simply do one thing that let's say if label has some particular name then this will be the click event okay so i'll set the name to i okay so first i need to identify which label i am talking about okay so for that i'll use the sender okay so them x as we are talking about labels okay so i'll direct pass it sender my label okay so i have highlighted that this is the sender and it is in the form of label these are my parameters so now you can simply add any kind of event to it okay so let's say for everything i'll need same click event so what i'll do is message box red okay it will say red irrespective of which label it is what has been it's not doing anything so what i need to do is i need to add this event to this particular label okay so for that i'll use add handler add handler so dot click okay this was our event and add handler address all okay okay so now if you click it it will simply say red irrespective of which label you are clicking okay i'll quickly change the cursor to band so this will be case irrespective of what label it is let's say if it's a zero it's named zero then i'll need red and if it's one i'll need blue something like that okay so when i press one it will say red it's green because its name is one and not anything else now rest it will say blue cool so you now know how to add events to this okay so this is how you will add controls dynamically so what if you want to add one of the controls that is in the project itself so it's very simple so i've already added one of the controls i'll just quickly show you how to add it so it's again the same thing that you need to do i'll just show you how the control actually looks like so this is how the control looks like this is actually used in one of my projects so i'll use it okay so now again as 
new percentage control rest everything is you have to just set the properties and then you have to add it to the form or any control that you want to add if i'm not wrong it's integer let me just have a look i don't remember it yes it is integer okay so if you see okay i think this is coming in between so if you see name has been changed to test and the percentage is 20 percent so this way you can do n number of controls or anything any permutation and combinations that you can use to kind of create your application look way too cooler and you can add controls dynamically as per your needs right now i'll be explaining you how to remove the controls it's way more simple than adding a control so let's say i want to remove one of the label which is let's say named as one so i want to remove it when i click it so in my click event what i'll be doing is when x dot name equal to one i'll just type x dot remove now that won't work so what i need to do is my parent control is panel one so panel one dot controls dot remove so it is asking for which of the control so my control is x type x okay so when i click on that one so it will disappear okay so this is one of the method so the next thing that i'll be explaining you let's say i want to remove everything in that particular panel so what i'll be doing is so let's say i'll use this particular click event itself rather than creating a new one what i'll do is panel one dot controls dot clear so what it will do is it will clear all the controls so i've clicked it it has cleared all the controls there are no more controls in this particular panel okay this is another method these are a couple of methods that you can use to kind of remove the control but let's say this is one of the arrays rather than that you want to kind of remove a control which is very specific it's not all the labels and i just want to remove one of the labels so what i let's say I have this particular as a complete class event class variable so let's say i want to uh, just remove label zero okay mm -hmm. so i'll do control short remove so now i'll use labels zero okay whenever i click any label it will remove the label zero okay so it has removed the first label so there's nothing else so thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to our channel for more further content